Good morning, I hope everyone is well today. I take a couple minutes here and see what's going on. Um, I know that uh, a lot of you are stuck in some severe weather, so goodness gracious, how crazy is that? Um, so I'm gonna give you a few minutes to come on and I know I'm a couple minutes early, which is totally okay. There we go. Hi, Sheena. Good morning. Is that funny that it just barely told me that I was live when I've been on for a couple minutes now? Anyway, <laughs> good morning, Janet. How are you? Hi, Renee. Good morning. Uh, a little rough. Can you tell, Janet? Hi, Suzanne. You're feeding the baby. Oh, give him snuggles for me. Hey, Melissa, how are you, Buckeye girl? Good morning to everyone. Hi, Vicki Davis. How are you doing, Sheena? I thought I'd move over here a little bit, so there we go. Good morning, good morning. Guys, if you do me a favor and spread the love, I would totally appreciate it. Um, you're snowed in, Melissa. Aw. Oh, thanks, Janet. Yeah, I'm feeling a little rough. I can definitely see it in my eyes and stuff. And, oh, I am so tired of mask acne. So, acne on my nose right where it goes. Hi, Carla. How are you? I'm so tired of it. <laughs> Hi, Ann. How are you? Good morning, good morning everyone. I hope you grabbed a cup of coffee and are gonna join me. So this is one of my favorite cups and I hadn't found it in a while. I was like, where was it? So I cleaned out my cupboard yesterday and found it. It says, unfairest of them all. Hi, Anne. And let me turn it around here. Of course, it's got the queen on it, right? Ah, oh, thank you, Kathy. Wasn't that beautiful? I am so impressed with how it turned out. It's the first time we've ever done anything like that. And wow, I, I'm actually, I'll, I'm gonna show it again just to show you guys again because it was so much fun. Hey, Kathy, good morning. Are you struggling doing the St. Patty's? Dang it, Janet. Well, out there, I guess, because aren't you in Ireland? You have to be like, right on point. I actually have some really cute things I'm going to show you today too that um, that I picked up this week. Not really for St. Patty's. I mean, because we're kind of past that now in a way. So, hi Jean. Good morning. I hope you're doing well. Hey Teresa. On pointer, they don't like it. That's right. Good morning, Chris. So, guys, we um, are experiencing snow here in Utah, of course. Hi, Penny. And um, we are experiencing it with some, uh, it's kind of in flurries, little flurries and stuff, but it's not really sticking too much. Um, nothing like everybody else is doing, um, everybody else is dealing with. And so, I wanted to hopefully lift some spirits today of those that are out there in the weather that are not used to it. Um, hi, Judy and Andrea. Welcome, welcome. You know, one of the things I wanted to um, say about it, because I was thinking about it, and I thought, man, you know, we joked about it last night. I know, Janet, it's such crazy weather. And we joked about it last night a little bit. Uh, we joked about how it was, good morning, Juanita. We joked about how it was, um, you know, we're like, you guys are amateurs and joking around because we're so used to having a lot of snow. And so in Utah, we get a lot of snow during the winter usually. And, you know, we, we used to literally when people say they went to school and they walked uphill both ways, um, that's literally, hi Louise, good morning, kind of how it was. 
Okay, Christy, no problem. Good morning, Christy. Don't break your back, girl. Um, we, you know, we joke around that everybody else is, I know you caught me live. So that people are, you know, amateurs and stuff like that because we've had a lot of snow all of our lives. Well, you know, then I thought about it. I know you're frozen in Texas. I'm so sorry. You know, I really thought about it and I thought, man, hi, Arlene. You know, it seems crazy. And obviously life is crazy lately. Oh, you got 10 inches, Christy, good Lord. Hi, Brandy, good morning. But here's the thing. Let me move this because this is driving me crazy. There we go. Here's one of the things about it. Oh my Lord. So here's one of the things about it. Yes, it's odd. Like I said, last night we talked about, um, you know, make it a positive thing. Take your kids out and play in the snow. If you're in Texas and stuff like that, you you never get that. Enjoy it. Um, have your kids play in the snow. Make a snowman. Do all the things that they don't usually get to do. Or your grandkids or whoever. Um, you know, have a snowball fight. Have something fun. Do something positive with it. Make it a positive experience because otherwise you're, the kids get scared. And then they're like... Oh my gosh, I can never function in snow. It's it's the end of the world, <laughs> you know? And and I think that that's where we forget that the that our future is right there in little ones. And so if they see you panicking and everything like that, they're going to panic. And so turn it into a positive thing. Have fun with it. <gasps> Melissa, 12 and a half inches with 36 mile an hour winds. Holy cow. That's cold too. And, you know, the positive spin on that is making it to where they understand it and that they are prepared for it if it happens to them sometime in their lifetime. Make snow ice cream. Teresa, good idea. Exactly. Use it to your advantage. Have fun with it. Teach them something that they would never know about snow because they were not used to being in it. You know, there's so many things that you can do that can make it um, so positive. And yes, it's scary. You go, I mean, I feel for you guys, you don't have power, you don't have heat. You don't, you know, your Wi-Fi's don't work. I mean, all the things, right? So how do you keep your kids entertained? Find something to do, but also keep them safe and warm. And I'm not saying everybody goes outside today. I'm just saying, <laughs> my cat just got my dog. That's what happens when you're naughty. Don't bug him. <laughs> Sorry, my cat just told my dog where he stood in the life, in the chain of command here. Anyway. <laughs> So, poor Jack Jack. Um, you know, bring something positive out of the situation and then teach your teach the littles that it's okay and we get through it. Guys, you know, what I really feel about it is there's so many things that we've lived through in our lives. And we've lived through some pretty horrible, awful things in our lives. You know, I mean, there really has been some terrible things that have happened to all of us in our lives. Um, whether it be... You know, all the craziness that happened in this last year and political or, um, you know, all the things that happened in the past to your ancestors or, I mean, there are some really tough things that have went on in life and we've all lived through it. We've lived through something that was just terrible. But what I need you to think about, yes, make it like a camp in the house and have fun and you know, bundle up together and cuddle and do all the things that you don't get to do because you're home. But when we look back six months from now, those people in Texas and Louisiana and all the places that are getting all this crazy snow that they're not used to, they'll look back at that and go, wow, that was kind of cool. And I never thought I was gonna get through it. And obviously I got through it because it's six months later, right? So, you know, in the moment, sometimes can be things can be scary, but nothing is impossible. Hi, Myoni and Helen. You know, hi, Lori. Good morning. And so when you are looking at all the snow and all the scariness of having no power and all that stuff, just know that in a, you know, in a week, in a month. Okay, Christy. Hi, Jill. In a week, in a month, six months from now. You're gonna look back at this crazy snow and this crazy weather and you're gonna go, wow, I never thought I was gonna get through that. Look what you have accomplished. Nothing's impossible, nothing. 
There's just nothing that's impossible. And so unless you put, if, unless you just say, I'm not doing it and you just don't, there's nothing that you do and you just sit there and let it go. Um, you know, be the positive side of that. Be the person that goes, you know what? This is going to be so cool to tell our grandkids. This is going to be so cool to tell our family what we went through. Hi, Callie and Bonnie. Good morning. All the, all the things that you are afraid of right now with this weather or any of that, it's going to be okay. Cause you know what? In a few days, in a month, all of that, you're going to be so proud of yourself for getting through it. So nothing's impossible. You can get through it. And I'm, and we're praying for all of you that are just, it's, it's a big struggle bus for you. And I, we know it is because we know what it's like here and we're used to it. For those that are, that are struggling because they don't get this kind of weather, we feel for you because we are freezing sometimes that we just can't stand it. Or we're, you know, I mean, yes, we joke. Yeah, guys, I wear a tank top and capris. Um, I'm also in my house, but I would probably put on a jacket and run to the store. Um, yes, I would still be wearing my capris. Yesterday I was out in a t-shirt and capris. We're used to it. We're used to cold weather. The you know when it's like 36 degrees here, we're like woo heat rate heat wave, because we've become acclimated to it. So those of you that are not acclimated to that, it's hard. Good morning, good morning, guys. So hi Vicky and Annie. You know I really want you to think about how nothing's impossible. You can totally get through this, and it's going to be something that's down in the books for like one of the most amazing things that happened. Texas doesn't get snow. Louisiana doesn't get snow like this. You know. All the things. Look at, you know, Christy's buried out there. Yeah. I mean, Lori, of course. Hi, Pamela. Lori in, is in Canada. She's like, we're used to this, you know. But guys, nothing is, yes, mem memories are made. This is going to be something you can pass down to generations. This is something that you can teach others how to get through it. Hey, Vicki. There's so many things that you can do that we'll take a positive spin on this. Hello, Pamela. You know, and that, and that's one of the things I really want you to take away from this is that inspire others to be okay with it. It's okay. You'll get through it and we know you'll get through it. Make it fun. Make it memorable. Make sure you write it down. Uh, write down all the things you did, you know, or get, the, get them involved in, hey, I feel really weird. My fish is staring at me. My fish is staring at me over there. Um, all the things you did that was fun or get the kids involved in deciding what you should do tonight because it's so cold. And I know that it's really hard without the water and everything, guys. And that, oh. Yeah, Teresa, right? Kentucky gets there all the time. Yes. Christy, you know, right. Christy's used to it, but she's like, but she goes out and helps the elderly in her community. And that's perfect. That's a that's one of those hashtag one equals three six five guys. Yes, take lots of pictures, make it memorable. I've seen a, a few of my friends that are really taking lots of pictures and that are really enjoying it and doing snowmen and all the things. And guys, I know it's cold, I do, but wow, the memories, making snow angels, you know, doing all the things like you said, make ice cream out of it, have fun. Don't use yellow snow, but have fun. Um, it's, it's something you'll look back on and go, wow, I can't believe we got through this. Vicki said she made a fire and kept children in blankets on the couch and us adults played cards by the firelight. How cool is that? Now, Vicki, on a regular day, would that be something that you would get to do? Jill's <laughs> cold and she's in Florida wearing it and she's like looking at me with a tank top. I'm like, what's wrong with me? Hi, Lucy. You know, and that's the thing, guys. I am in my house, but I'm I'm really weird about when I'm crafting or creating. Um, I usually am in a tank top for the most part. And the reason is, is that ever since I had that shoulder surgery, for some reason, it's something I got accustomed to. And then I don't have sleeves in my way. And I just feel more free to do what I'm doing. And I don't care if I'm, I'm Vicky and Maya. And I don't care if I get glitter on me or whatever. It's too cold for you, Louise. I know. See, Vicki, you wouldn't have done that if there hadn't have been the snowstorm. You probably 
you guys probably wouldn't have been home or whatever, right? So these are the things that you got to take from it and go, what a positive experience. I get to snuggle with the kiddos. We get to have this big old family bed at night and, or we all camp out in the front room or how fun that that's a different thing that you'd get to do because it probably would have been your normal Monday night. You know, people getting home from work, doing dinner. Hi, Missy. All the things, right? You'd have been coming home, getting dinner, get the kids in a bath, get them to bed. How much time would you have had together? Sometimes God makes a way and sometimes it's scary. You too, Christy, stay, you stay warm too, girl. Don't hurt your back. But you know, you can, you can definitely see the difference in it. And maybe sometimes it's God telling us to slow down a little. Hi, Donna. Good morning. Sometimes God says, slow down. Take in the little things. Right, Vicki? God is good. And so it's like, it's okay. Good morning. You know, take it in, draw in every little bit of it because this is a memory that you're not going to have again, maybe. And so how fun is that? So really think about how you're going to, you're going to get through it. Just make it amazing. So, and you know, like Christy, she's out there, she's out there doing the, the snow for other people. You know, that's a way to do the, the hashtag one equals three, six, five guys. Yes, Janet, appreciate the special time you have been given. And that's totally it. You know, guys, um, this weekend we didn't get to have the other two princesses. We only had Dobby. And, and when I say we only had Dobby, that doesn't mean anything towards Dobby. It means we were expecting all three. We didn't get the other two. Um, it was Valentine's weekend. We had a big dinner planned and, and cookies to make and all the jazz, right? Well, I could have let it completely destroy our weekend, but we didn't. We made the big dinner still. We did a ham and pasta salad and all the things. And then um, we still made cookies with Dobby. Now, did we miss her sisters? Absolutely. Um, and unfortunately, you know, Addie was being a little bit of a sinker and her mom was not allowing her to have that privilege of coming to see us. Um, so we had Dobby and we still did the cookies. We didn't just not do anything because we could have, but we still made the cookies. We still had fun. She still did the sprinkles and stuff. She missed her sisters a lot, but we still made it memorable for her because it, it's not her fault. So remember those things. Hi, Gail. When you're, when things happen in your life, uh, I told you guys I've been on this journey of trying to keep everything more positive and everything and it's been, and I've been, so far so good. Um, I've been doing really well with it for the last, I don't know, four months or so. I mean, it's it was a hard road because I struggled so much last year, but I'm not gonna lie, um, sometimes it's still hard and I still have to go, no, this is okay. I'm gonna get through this. Or, you know what? I'm not gonna let that destroy my day. So, you know, enjoy the things you're doing, have the time, take the time. You've got it. You've been handed the time to be with your family. So take advantage of it. I know that you're cold. Just cuddle that. I mean, kids don't like to cuddle when they get older anyway. Now you get to cuddle them and they wouldn't do it normally. <laughs> so take advantage of that. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of things I wanted to show you last night. Or I'm going to show you last night's design. I don't know. Janet, you know what? I have absolutely used my table. So if you guys didn't hear me talk about it last week, I did get me a, like a hospital table. It's one of those tables that raises and lowers that goes over my bed um, and it tilts even so that when I'm struggling with my fibro or with the pain in my back or my leg and I have to be in bed, I can use the table and still be functional and still work. Um, I can do a lot of my digital stuff and my work online and do designing signs and all that stuff. And it has been absolutely wonderful. Um, I haven't had, I haven't used it as much as I thought yet, but that's because I haven't been in bed as much, which is good. Um, but yesterday and today was a little bit wearing on me and I tried really hard to, um, fight against it. And so I, um, I really had to, I, I've, 
I guess my thing now is for me to fight against having to use it, which is okay because it gives me motivation. But it is wonderful and great. Donna, I got it um, through Amazon and I can put the link of it. It's in my last week's coffee break, but I can put the link in here too. Um, it is wonderful. Vicki, that's right. If we look hard enough, hey Robin, how are you? There's always something good we can find in everything. Um, I was surprised that they actually sold them on Amazon. It shocked me, but you know, it was it's wonderful because it was like $74, but it was totally worth it and it helps me so much when I have such pain and I can't get up or I'm flaring really bad or things like that. It's so wonderful. It really is amazing. I'm totally shocked at how amazing it is. Um, I know that that sounds silly, but at night it's really helpful too. Um, so, you know, guys, really think about the things. Really think about it. And think about how to make a positive. Really, it's not that bad. You'll get through it, I promise. So let me show you a couple things that we've done. Or well, I'm going to show you what we did last night. And it was kind of outside of the box, guys. It was really outside of the box. But it's gorgeous. Look at this succulent arrangement. First, I want you to look at the wood. So this is like a... Um, driftwood branch kind of bowl. So it has a bowl kind of at the end of this branch. And isn't that cool? So we did a succulent arrangement. Hi, Alicia. Hi, Marquita. Hi, Suzette. Look at how beautiful this came out with the rocks and the succulents. Super, super beautiful. I have pictures going up of it this afternoon. Well, pretty soon actually. And it has been listed. Thanks, Janet. It is so, hi Sharon. It came out so good. I'm so happy with the way that it came out. I've never done anything like this one. And this um, really was a lot of fun. So I have a couple of things that I picked up from Hobby Lobby that I thought were really cool that I wanted to show you. But I also want to show you one thing that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And there's a reason for it. The thing from the Dollar Tree, I bought it for not for what it is. Thank you, thank you so much, Dorothy. I thought it was a lot of fun. It was a totally different, totally different, right? So, um, this is silly, but it's just the little St. Patty's Day hat that I bought at Dollar Tree. I actually bought a few of them. And guys, I didn't buy them for this tinsel hat because I don't want the hat. I don't want this tinsel stuff. You know, we all, how many of us cut it off, right? Thanks, Bonnie. I bought it for the frame of the hat. How many of us have had to make hats for bunnies or hats for um, snowmen or anything like that, right? The top hats are pretty popular. Guys, this is a great size. Look at how cute. Yeah, Janet, bunny hats. This is a great size. Like that's the size that it is, but I just got it for the frame. So I bought a few of them because I wanted them for the frame so I can make the bunny hats or anything like that. I'll just take these apart. It's already pretty much put together for me. Aren't they great? It's already pretty much put together for me. All I have to do is cover it with whatever fabric I want to or whatever I want to put on it. Right, Carla? So I saw these yesterday and I thought, man, I need these. So I bought like, I really seriously probably bought like 10 of them because I thought I have to have them just for the frame. So outside of the box, guys, just because it looks cheaper with tinsel and stuff like that, really think about what you're going to do or what you might create. And there's so many people that want to make the hats, but they don't have the patience to make the hats the other way. So this is an easy way to do it by just taking this apart and using that frame. It's an awesome frame. So I just wanted you to see that. If you see them in your, in your Dollar Trees, pick some up. So... Chris and I, Chris Strank and I, which don't forget, Chris will be on live tonight at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, went to Hobby Lobby last week. Check out these picks, guys. This is one beautiful pick. Look at that. Look at the flowers and the berries on it. Thanks, Donna. Look at those flowers. Does that not just scream spring? That screams spring to me. And there's so much little goodies in here. When you fluff this out and pull that apart, 
Like, look at the little flowers in there. Aren't those awesome? Like, such a beautiful pick. Um, you know, if you wait and do the half off Hobby Lobby every other week, this was $7 on the half off sale. Now, I know that's a little bit pricey, but it's not terrible because it's a great pick and it's a big pick. And it's got great leaves on it and lots of berries. I mean, it just screams spring to me and I can't wait to use it. It is gorgeous, huh? I'd like to show you guys things that you might, I know, Janet, that you might run into when you're out there because you forget about them. And, or if you don't see them, you, don't, you may not see, you might not see them. What I do, the skew on this one, Kathy, is... 664-9172. 664-9172. And it's at Hobby Lobby. Now, here's one of the things, too, guys. I don't always see things. Hi, Shorty. Hi, Sheila. I don't always see these things. I don't always see everything in the store. So, what I do is when I'm watching somebody and if they're showing something or they're using something, I screenshot right away. Because then I'm like, okay, I'll remember to go look for that. Hey, guys. They have their Buffalo Check um, carrots back this year. Hey, Shorty. They have Buffalo Check carrots back this year, and they have them in the black and white and in the orange, which these are super popular to use. So just wanted to point those out because I, I love these. They are so pretty. Hi, Mary. Hobby Lobby has some great stuff going on right now. I picked up a few, look at these eggs. They're blue and white. Who are my eggs, guys? Aren't those cool? I love these. I'm gonna take a drink of my coffee. Janet, yes, Um, most of our Dollar Tree, aren't those precious? They are, most of the Dollar Trees didn't start setting Easter until yesterday. Some of them had a little bit before then, but most of them didn't start putting them out till yesterday because of um, Valentine's. They were trying to get through Valentine's, but yes, they are getting it out full force now. I found some really, really cute little teeny, teeny carrots. Look at those. And I thought, how cute for Addie's bows, for her Easter bows. So we'll be adding those to her bows. Aren't those so cute? Now, this stuff is all from Hobby Lobby, except for that St. Patty's hat. Of course, they've got their eggs out, or their eggs. <laughs> they've got eggs out, but the, uh, these cute um, carrots, I love them. I think they're so pretty. Super pretty. And guys, pretty um, inexpensive. Now, these guys, these guys crack me up. Look at these cute little gnome signs. Aren't they cute? So this is my hand. They're about the size of my palm, or my hand there, look. Um, they were only $2.99, but then they had 40% off them. Look at this guy, so there's more than one different style. There's a pink one and a yellow one. And then this little friend right here, the blue one. So how cute are these? Yes, they will, huh? So how cute are those? I just love them. I thought they were really fun. And they also have these really beautiful butterflies. And these little butterflies I thought would be great in Addie's bows as well. Hi, Melissa, how are you? Janet, these were... $2.99 and then 40% off. Aren't they cute? Does anybody need a skew for these? But I thought these little butterflies would be absolutely adorable in Addie's bows. Then they also have these little teeny shapes. Look at these shapes, guys. Look at the eggs. Look at how, hi Connie. Look at how intricate they're cut out. Sorry if you see my ring light there. But look at how intricate these are cut out. Aren't they amazing? So these were $4.99 with the 40% off. Hi, Shirley. Good to see you guys this morning. Thanks for joining us. 
And then this is one of my favorite little containers I picked up that I thought was really cute. Look at this bathtub, guys. Oh, you do use them on your fairy doors? Awesome. Oh, Melissa, I know. I bet you guys are freezing. Check out this bathtub, guys. This bathtub was $13.99 and it was 40% off because it's in the spring shop. But look at how cute that bathtub is. And it's, this is kind of a small one, but they had them in several different color or different sizes. They were all the same color, but they were different sizes. I love that it's got the copper here and around the edge instead of the normal white and black enamel look. I like that it's got that more rustic look with the copper. And I thought the feet were just so beautiful. And I thought this is gonna be so cute with an, a spring design in it. So can't wait to use this too. So this last thing just came from Dollar General. It really didn't come from Hobby Lobby, but I only had, I have one thing from Dollar General and one thing from Do um, Dollar Tree that I had showed you. So this, look at this, look at this cute. It's a metal, it's metal, it's a metal um, chick and it's embossed metal and it was $4. But check how cute. And it's, so it's two layers. You can see that, that's the bottom of it. Aren't those cute? Isn't this cute? So they had this in pink and blue, but I love the yellow one. How cute would this be with some of these, like even the blue eggs, spotted eggs? How cute would that be? The boat or the tub? I know, I was thinking that too. It'd be great for succulents. Negative two, it was minus 15 last time you checked. So you've warmed up a bit. Melissa, oh my goodness. Donna, you bought a rabbit like this one last year? Right, Janet? I had a good shopping trip. Um, like I said, Chris Drink and I will go shopping. Like We try to go once every couple weeks at least. And um, man, Hobby Lobby was knocking it out of the park this time, guys. I really was surprised. Hi, Kathy. I was really surprised at all the new things that they had. And I actually bought more than this, but it was a lot of it was florals. I'm a floral girl too. I buy a lot of florals. I don't know why. My husband loves them but hates putting them away hi mary lou and so the eggs came from hobby lobby as well and if you want the skew and they're only 5.99 guys the skew is 5458211 and i thought they were so cool because they had three different shades in there they have white they have a, a baby blue and then they have this kind of in between pale blue and i thought how cute is that Hi, Judy. And so, um, hi, Minga and Linda. Hi, Judy. How is it in New Orleans? I'm supposed to be down there in just a couple weeks with Chris Drink, and I'm a little concerned. Um, of course, when we went down there for um, Wreath Makers, you're welcome, Shirley. When we went down there for Wreath Makers a few years ago, it was flooding right before we came. And then we were there, and we had a horrible flash flood that day. It's okay, Don. Good morning. And um, so it was a little crazy. Rolling power outages so far, we have been lucky and not affected. Fingers crossed we don't experience it today or tomorrow. Yes, and we've been praying for all of you guys down there. Everybody that's experiencing this horrible weather, we've been praying for you and hoping that um, everything gets restored really quickly. But so many great things at Hobby Lobby this last week. We were kind of surprised uh, having not been to Hobby Lobby in a few weeks. I know that sounds crazy, me, not at Hobby Lobby, but I really hadn't gone out to Hobby Lobby. Um, and it was a refreshing kind of experience to see all the new things. And they have really upped their game, guys. Like there's a lot of different things there that I was like, whoa. Now they've always dabbled in different things, but they are really stepping up the game. Hi, Tanya. And they've really, um, however, some of that is, Absolutely, Gary. Some of that does interfere with us crafters, but it's, their business is crafting, right? So, but some of it does interfere a little bit with us crafters because it can be um, similar to things that we do or whatever. But of course, that's how businesses run, right? We have lots of neighborhoods without power, Judy says, but she's by the airport. That's probably why you still have it, right? 
Oh, good, Melissa. You know, and that's the thing. I like to show you guys things, but I also like to show you because, like I said, I don't always see everything in the store. I don't always see everything at Hobby Lobby. I don't always see everything any, you know, at any store. Um, Michael's at home. I love at home, guys. At home is one of my favorite stores ever. But they're really having a hard time getting in all their merchandise right now. So, um, but I don't always see everything. So, um, when people are showing different things on their lives or things like that, I like to screenshot so I know what I'm looking for when I go to a store because then I remember it or I'll look at my pictures and go, oh yeah, I'm looking for this. Oh yeah, I'm looking for this. And it's not because I want to copy someone. It's because I, it inspired me. Something about it inspired me. Good morning, Karen. How are you? Amanda, at home is life, is it not? Right? They have me so snowed. But then again, home goods, now that I've discovered where our home goods is, and it is about 35, 40 minutes away. I love home goods. Absolutely, 100% love home goods. And I'm just like, ugh, I gotta stay out of there. Hi, Carolyn and Teresa. You know, um, there are so many beautiful things out there, and there's so many things for us to create with, and that's what excites me, because there are things that you wouldn't even think about using to create with that you can create with. Hi, Pramila, how are you? Good to see you from India. Like I said, guys, if you happen to be by your Dollar Tree, pick up some of these hats because they're great frames for the Benny ear hats and all the things. I mean, seriously, I picked them up for the frame, not for anything else. I'll take all this off and I'll make bunny ear hats or um, top hats for snowmen or things like that just because of that. Melissa said she got an email that their community center is going to put up a spring craft fair outside, but will be a good, will, it'll be good to have some normalcy. Oh, Donna, you don't have one? Oh, Judy lives seven minutes from at home. Mine is about 15 minutes away. Hi, Janet Day. Janet Day, sorry. <laughs> Mine is about 15 minutes away for our at home, but we still go there. But so our at home, our Hobby Lobby, our Michaels, I'm trying to think of what else. Well, Target, they're all in kind of the same vicinity, about 15 minutes away. But my home goods is like 45 minutes, 40 to 45 minutes away. So home goods is not going to be, um, we're not going to be hitting them as easily, but um, Hobby Lobby and stuff. Usually I hit Hobby Lobby once a week, but I haven't been. And so, like I said, it was kind of refreshing to go in there and see all the beautiful things for spring. There was so much going on. But I have tons more stuff that I did pick up. Like I said, most of it was florals. I did pick up some beautiful bunnies, um, but I already put them away. So I will have to show you guys them later because they are beautiful and they are blue. Everything for you is 45 minutes. All I have is Walmart and Dollar Tree in your small town. Oh, Suzanne, it's two hours from you for at home. See, I have Dollar Trees, I have a Dollar Tree about three minutes from me. I have a do I have Dollar Tree, I have about four Dollar Trees around me um, within 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Um, there's several of them around us and boy, do we hit them. But um, so many things that you guys can go out and do, but don't go out and do it in this crazy weather right now for you. But I'm just saying so many things that you could do and you could have so much fun with your um, kids and stuff at this time. I know you can't use hot glue, but there's other things you can do with them. Our Michael's Joann's are all like two hours away. So just Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree and Walmart too. Oh, Don, that stinks. Probably good that Hobby Lobby is farther away. I would be broke if it was closer. <laughs> now I know the feeling. So, and I've tried to learn not to buy just to buy, but it's really, really hard, guys. And when you're creative, you see something and it inspires you, you have to have it. Because you might, it might not be there the next time. And that's for one. There, it may not be there next time. And so it's really, really hard. Um, for the most part, I mean, if it's in the Hobby Lobby, it's probably going to be there. But it's kind of crazy. So hopefully you guys are going to have an amazing week. I pray for all of you that are going through the elements and going through everything. <laughs> Janet, 18 hours, maybe on a plane, right? Um, but you have Primark, don't you? Don't you have Primark over there, Janet? I like Primark. But that's not for crafting. It's more for Disney stuff. 
Thanks, Melissa. That is one that we made. Um, it's actually for sale in our Etsy shop. We made that a couple weeks ago, and I love it. It's magnolias and the wagon wheel, and it's absolutely adorable. But guys, I hope you have a wonderful and safe week. Remember to keep it fun, keep it simple, keep it, keep it real, and try not to scare the kiddos with all this crazy weather. Make sure that you are using this time wisely with your family and you're spending it as a family and as a unit and you remember that you're relishing in the time that you have. Bonnie only has family dollar and dollar general. We only have two dollar generals in my state, I believe. No, we have three total in our state, but two of them are kind of by me and the other one is clear down 45 minutes away. And I'm kind of bummed because Dollar General does get some cute stuff. But um, if you guys just be inspired. Oh, I'm sorry, Melissa. Well, you should go back and look at last night's project because it came out so cool. Look at this guy. So cool. This was last night's project. Hi, Cindy. How are you? And, um, and it has been listed already as well. But, um, guys, have an amazing positive week. Bless your hearts. Keep yourself safe. Keep yourself warm. Watch out if you're using any kind of propane heaters or anything like that in your homes. Watch out for, um, for, you know, carbon monoxide. Vicki says, Amy, I made my first wreath. Thank you for showing me out. Oh, you are so welcome. Vicki, send me a picture. I want to see it. Stay safe, stay warm. You guys just totally take advantage of the time you have with your family right now. Keep everybody safe. Do you know, like I said, watch out for carbon monoxide. Make sure that you're really paying attention. Thank you, Vicki. And I hope that you all just enjoy it. You'll get through it. Nothing's impossible. Like I said, in a few days, a month, six months, you're gonna look back and go, wow, we got through this. And don't forget, you know, hashtag one equals three, six, five. Make sure that you go out there and make a difference in somebody's life today. It doesn't even have to be someone you don't know. It could be anybody, you know, make a difference in your kids' lives today. If you're hanging out at home and you're using a camp stove to cook, you know, do something fun, do something amazing and make someone's day. All right, guys, you take care. Hashtag one equals three, six, five. We'll see you guys later. Oh, Connie, good luck. I hope you're not a gremlin tomorrow. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Love y'all. Bless, bless y'all. Ta-ta.